Finally, a fairy came to you, bitch. Creeper here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, one of my one of my all-time favorite video games because of multiple reasons I'll explain to you here. Because first off, The Legend of Zelda uh, Ocarina of Time was one of the games that kicked off gaming to a whole new level. The gr graphics was different in the time it was made and in the well, you know 1998 and to be honest, guys, this is a game that me. This is a game that changed everything, and I, don't worry about the file. I pre-made that. I haven't really started anything, and uh, I was just I was working around with things, just testing it out, the sound and everything. So here's the here's the kicker. And originally, this is a game I always loved playing because I always loved Zelda games. Always watched watching my brother play it when I was little, and there is, and I always love the gameplay because it's so unique in its own way. But then later on, I always thought, it, but all, but I always thought that this was a game with just a common goal: beat it. But then I realized that there's a story behind it that was written by, written in the manga. If you ever get a chance, look it up. I can't remember who it's by, but you'll find Legend of Zelda manga, and I've read it along with other mangas. And I realized that this is not just a story of being a hero, but Link is actually in love with Zelda in this story. In this timeline, part of the timeline, he is in love with Zelda. Link is in love with Zelda. And that really got me thinking about the story in a whole new way. So, I, I really want to get on this story, and I want to do my commentary on this because... This game means a lot to me, and I would like to thank Nintendo for actually making this game and making this Let's Play possible. And, of course, guys, I got my lucky controller, so, you know, it's not a Nintendo controller, but I'm working with what I got. So, we're getting Nintendo, not sponsored, by the way, so, please, everybody, just sit back and enjoy. So, here we go. In the vast steep forest of Hyrule, long have I served the guardian spirits. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokuri, live with me, here with me. Sorry, I stutter. Each Kokuri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. <laughs> oh. I know, guys, I've beaten this game before, so don't worry about it. Tell me, I know everything. I'm not going to spoil anything if you haven't played the game, but... Those of you who do, just remember, I'm going to... You know, go along with it, because this game gets me every time. Zelda... Ganondorf! Navi, Navi, where are thou? Oh, come hither. Oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words of the, the words of the Deku tree. Oh, I should do voices. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, source of life, has stood at the barrier, deterring outsiders of maintaining the order of the world. But before the dread is evil power, even my power is nothing. 
It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny youth whose destiny is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young, our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon thee. The cute fairy music. Just look, okay, the guy you just uh, seen um, fly through his legs right there. Just be informed, this guy is a dick. So, in the manga though, he's a pretty cool guy towards the end. So, you'll you'll see that later. So, if you read the manga, you'll see. Sorry, that gets me every time. <laughs> Why is the fairy dumb enough to run into a wall? Like a bird hitting glass. Hello. Hello, bitch. Wake up. The great, the, <clears throat> the great Deku Tree wants to talk to you, bitch. Get up. <laughs> Such a lazy boy? God, that voice is weird for me. Ugh. This kid never talks, is what bothers me. In the manga, he talks, though. Did you know that? In the manga, he's Ken and he can't talk. He's not mute. He finally woke up! I'm Navi, the fairy! The great Deku Tree has asked to be. Ask me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The great Deku Tree has summoned you. Let's go. Let's get going right now. Here we go. To be one guys, this game will be glitchy because this is a. Uh, well, never mind. This game's gonna be glitchy. End of story. That's all you guys need to know. And look. Look at that green-haired woman. Oh, girl. Yeah! Hi, bitch! <laughs> oh, yeah, so... Uh... I love doing that every time. Wow! <clears throat> wow! <clears throat> I'm trying to get a good voice. Wow! A fairy! There we go. F Finally! A fairy can be you, bitch! <laughs> wow, that's great news! I'm so happy for you! Now you're a true Kokiri, bitch! <laughs> is that- is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree! I'll wait for you here! Get going! Go see the Great Deku Tree! Anyway, let's go on, and... Now guys, before I go on there, there's actually two items I have to get. One, I'll go get the easiest one, the next one is going to be a little more difficult because it requires me to get to buy it. And I don't have the coins right, the rupee, rupees right now. And so, I do believe it requires 40 rupees. So, but this one's easiest because it's free. And all I gotta do is just collect. Which, any rupees I see in here, like... You gotta be careful of that rock, because that thing really depletes your health. Anyway... First chest you ever open in the game, and it's the most necessary item ever! Got the Kokiri sword. On the equipment, on the equipment screen, please press it and uh, press with the cursor and equip it with A. This is a hidden treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. 
Honestly, guys, it's quite easy weapon to use, and it's actually quite easy, but it sucks because you can't just have automatic. You, oh shit, glitch. <laughs> My bad. Now you have to actually equip it, and there's no automatic equipping. Oh, almost lost it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And we're there. Okay, here we go. So I so far I got twelve rupees. I need more. Oh, I gotta keep moving forward with this thing. Oh yeah, I can go backwards. I didn't know you can, so. Honestly, though, I don't know why you would go backwards. These things I don't need to worry about. I know how to walk onto things. It's not hard. Why did I do that? Okay, now rupees is something I need to work on. Okay, um, that's 14. Ah, uh, so good to have an analog stick with these games. Now, there's a trick here. You gotta do it just right. Ah, didn't work. No, that didn't work. There's usually a trick here you could do. I don't wish to Z-target to you. You suck. Nope, that didn't work. Oh well. I figured it would be the other way, but there's other ways to get rupees. I know them all, so... No! Ah! Okay. Oh, I can get rupees else, please. I just need to get the... Freaking five rupees up here, and I gotta be careful how I walk. Wish I can just change my camera views, it'd be a lot easier. Now, I, I don't know whose house this is, but I'll just like, oh yeah, you can't open, you can't swing your sword indoors. I can't get the rupee! <laughs> nope, I fucked it. I fucked up. Ah! Ooh, fine! Ah! That makes it so much easier. I don't even know what sound I'm using. Sound I'm kind of using right now. What's, what microphone I'm using? I don't know if I'm using my PCs or my, uh, or my cameras. It's better for my cameras. It's not here. I can't go in here. So I think this is uh, the douche's house. I think that's what I think. No way, my tired guys. It's like almost two in the morning here. Yes. <laughs> the heart. I don't need it. Get around it. Yes. Three more rupees, motherfucker. And I'll be ready. So, I think there's more rupees I can earn. 
by going in here, I think. Nope. Just hearts. Fuck that. So, can't remember where else I could find rupees. Um, I do know sometimes if you break these, you get a chance to break, get some. No, no chance. So, I'm going to find another way to get rupees. If you guys notice, you've ever noticed how these guys disappear out of sight when you walk away, but when you get closer to them, they reappear? I've noticed this. I always had a feeling of what that meant. I actually tried to write a fan fiction about that. It was a pretty cool story. Except I tried to make, like, there's a female link too. Like, you know, I was, you know, I, was, I named her Join, you know, it was kind of an idea. If I can get some damn rupees! Mother of God. I just need some rupees, okay? Is that so hard to ask? No, what did I go that way for? Eh. There's actually a, uh, if you want to know what I'm doing that for, is because there's actually a trick you can do that helps you gain rupees that way. Oh, that's so much better. Just the rupees I needed. How the fuck that happened? I don't know. So before we go in, there's a secret rupee back here. Oh man, there's five right there. I could have grabbed them. I didn't know there was like. Oh, there was just one. Welcome. Just buy this. Yeah, let's go to, um, hit R. Uh, I can't remember what, I, what the R button is on here. I think it's these two back here. Okay, now we're gonna... And we got the shield. Oh. Yeah, I got my shield, motherfucker. So that means we can talk to the douche that's actually guarding that door there. So here we go. I thought I'd just spent 17 minutes trying to get a sword and shield. Ugh. Okay, sorry. Okay, if you want to see the Great Deku Tree, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. But, eh? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku Shield. And what's that? You have the Kokiri Sword? Good great! Well, even with all that stuff, you wimpy. A wimpy still whip, huh? Alright, the Great Mito will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how do you get it to be a favorite or sorry in the great A Deku Tree? Huh? Rumble bro. You guys are like jealous because of my intense swagger? Um. Uh, and guys, we're about. Oh, new enemies! Here, I'm gonna. And. And, uh. Here we go, guys. I wanna show you. Okay, this is called Deku Baba. It's called a Deku Baba. Though it looks withered, it'll hurt you if you touch it. Oh, I need a stick. Ah. You got a Deku stick! I put it in the select item screen, you can set it to left, down, or right. So, set it to C and swing it with, with C. Then you, then if you want to put it away, stick. And still, and press A. You can carry up to ten sticks, but don't waste them. They oh, uh, I do know they break. So let's um. I do know also know that Deku Babas, uh, De uh, are the only ones. Oh, Deku um. 
They're the only ones that can respawn. Okay, here we go. Back to the story. I put the controller down. Uh, no, I can't. Great Deku Tree! <clears throat> Great Deku Tree! I'm back! It's a fucking tree with a face. Oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Bitch, welcome back. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. Has the servants of evil gained strength and vile climate per foot? They aid the land and cause such nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily thou hast felt it, bitch. The time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Fuck yeah. Then enter, brave bitch, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid, bitch. And bitch, when Navi speaks using up, see, to listen well and use words of wisdom. Well, there we go, go talk to a strange tree. You know, guys, the funny thing is, the entire story and reason why he started this is because a tree told him to. Anyway, let's get into this damn tree. Inside the Deku tree. Here we go. So here we go. Um... So, before we start this dungeon, I would like to end the episode off here, because I'm sorry, guys, if you just don't want to see anything. But, guys, I know, guys, you want to continue this, but this, this video has actually gone on long enough, and I will continue this, because the game doesn't take that long, as long as you know how to play it. I've actually completed this in a day once. And, anyway, so, I'll catch you guys later, and I'll see you in the next video. So, please leave a like and comment below, and please hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel. So... And you can also follow me up on Twitter and Facebook. Also check out my blog, Angry Ginger Vlogs. You guys, you guys, you guys should know where it is. You can just Google it. It's not hard. And oh, sorry, search it up. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Creepers gotta creep. Bye bye.